That's the way. One step, just one more step, and I pull the trigger on this detonator. There are a half dozen kids taken from the 80s in the adjacent room. I've wired the room, so don't try anything. Randall sent you, didn't he? He won't stop until he's buried Marco in the dirt. I can respect that, but I'm not Marco. I'm walking out of these mountains, and nobody's stopping me. I'm not going to die up here on behalf of some miscreant like Marco. Let me pass and the kids are yours, safe and sound. Push me, and I'll pull the fucking temple down on both of us. Fate is fickle. I'm no longer welcome in the Mojave, so my options were running out until I received a letter from Marco. Though it seems absurd now, Marco was attempting to establish a higher form of order in Frost Hill, though nothing I'd call a government. I suspect he just wanted a quiet place to retire, so marauding raiders couldn't be tolerated. Thus, I was hired to solve the 80s problem. My solution was complete. The 80s will no longer tread in the Deep Creek Mountains, or at least not for a generation. Marco paid well enough but I am uneasy working with the man. He exudes an indescribable malignance and cunning I've never encountered. I have long been at odds with his various cronies scattered throughout the canyons, but I now suspect Marco will remove me at the first opportunity. He is planning something, and I doubt I am included in his vision. You have certainly simplified his plans by purging all his hangers-on. They were a troublesome, restless lot that had an uneasy relationship with the town anyway. Marco may have planned it all along. And who have I killed? Innocence? Hardly. Base animals living in a state of nature, removed from civilization, law, and decency. The Sand Wolves executed helpless babes, tortured settlers for days. I gave them a quick death, which was far more than they deserved. In the 80s, murderous maniacs, every one of them. I merely turned back their encroachment into these mountains, little else. Maybe I will kill again, Courier. But will you stand there and tell me I'm doing wrong? I am the line between life and death. <laughs>
on the frontier. I don't enjoy hurting children. I make it quick and painless, but I know what they'll become. I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. Do I look like some filthy savage to you? That might work on a cretin like Red Bear, but I won't humor your ego. It's not happening. You wouldn't stand a chance, but I am intrigued. Even then, no, no, it's not worth it. You're not worth it. So they do. Very well, Courier. I'll be carrying your scalp with me when I leave this place. Aha! Fine.
Hey there. What is it, partner? The old scalp hunter got scalped. I understand you took him down without any collateral damage. That takes skill. You earned yourself a nice fat wad of caps for this one. Only one thing left to do now, partner. We know where Marco is. We just have to get him. I've still got a few preparations to make, so just let me know when you're ready, and we'll round up the posse. The readiness is all, my friend.